Greetings Zimbabwe, Africa and the world. Welcome to In Conversation with Trevor, brought to you by Titan Law. I go beyond the headlines and beyond the sensational. I come to you from completely different settings because of the requirement of the coronavirus for us to live differently. We have put together a package of videos from some of our guests recommending to you the books that they have read. We thought that during this time, where there's a lot of anxiety and hysteria, you might want to get a book and get lost in a book. I hope you enjoy these book recommendations. Cheers. <music> viewers at home love books uh -huh. um, and uh, I was wondering what other books have you read I mean I know you read the Bible quite a lot mm. but apart from the Bible what other books have you read that mm. you'd want to recommend to our viewers back at home books um, you know good to great uh, I mentioned Humilitas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went to Harvard uh, there's a guy called Bill Moore he wrote a great book it's True North. Mm. Have you read True yes, North? Yes, I've read True North. Oh. I, brought, I bought 20 copies and given True North to a lot of people. Yeah, I True love North. doing that. Fantastic. Mm. Execution mm. by Bossidy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't read that one. You've got to read that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Getting Things Done. Mm -hmm. Execution. Mm -hmm. I've got two copies, so I'll lend I'll you one. I'll get one from you. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Then there's another book uh, that I highly recommend. It's called Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, the author ex escapes me for mm -hmm. a minute. But I'll post that on your on your link. Mm. But drive, you got to be driven. Uh, post it under the hashtag is Trevor Book Club. Okay. Yeah, that's where we're sharing our yeah. books. Yeah. So mm. I'll share mm. Trevor Book, book Club. Club yeah. yeah, and and put those. Mm. Yeah, those are, are some of the titles that I. Would. Wow. I think I'm going to ask you, what are you reading now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh, uh, I've just done this amazing. Um, uh, uh, project uh, which was to judge the UK's most prestigious uh, award for non-fiction. We gave £50,000 just uh, two weeks ago to, to the winner and so in the last uh, few months I've been reading mainly non-fiction that was published in the UK in the last uh, in the last year and there's a book that I really want to recommend to everybody because uh, you know, uh, Zanupia features quite quite prominently in it. It was a book that was shortlisted, mm. and it's by a professor of um, of uh, history and economics uh, at the London School of Economics called um, Julia Lovell, mm -hmm. and it's a biography of Maoism, Maoism as an ideology, how it took root across uh, different parts of the world, Cuba. Uh, Zimbabwe, why it succeeded in Zimbabwe and not in Ghana and so on. Uh, and I, I think it's a really terrific book. So I would recommend that book. Um, our beloved national treasure, Sisila Ngarembwa, also has a new book. Um, it's the third in the series of um, the Nervous Conditions Trilogy. It's called uh, 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 this, Mournable, this Mournable Body. I would, I would recommend that very highly as well. Um, Gosh, I had a whole list of books uh, that I wanted to recommend, but I'm still thinking about right. some of your questions <laughs> and whether they're going to generate headlines. <laughs> Apart from reading the Bible, do you get time to read anything else? I do. You do. Do you mind sharing with us uh, the books you're reading? Our the, the people that watch this show love books. What books have made an impact I on you? I strongly and highly recommend Alistair Campbell's book, Winners. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably the most powerful book on leadership I've read. Alistair Campbell was working with Tony Blair for years. And he's interviewed the top 1% of the greatest leaders of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, in the 20th and 21st century, including Queen of England, Tiger Woods is in there, mm. you know, why they succeed. And he tells in that book, every person that succeeded mentions the Beatles out of Liverpool, if a person puts 10,000 hours into something, mm. which is eight hours a day for a minimum of 10 years, you are guaranteed success. Mm. Uh, Bill Gates is in that deal. And so what that did for me, reading winners, why they win, it helped me develop a culture. It's a culture of winning. It's a discipline of things that has to be done. So with my prayer, 
that I put in in the late 80s, 90s. Nobody was calling me. Nobody was uh, asking me to preach. I had nothing to do. Mm -hmm. So I prayed eight hours a day and spent tons of hours in my Bible mm -hmm. from Genesis all the way. And so in January, I did the Old Testament through. I've gone through the Bible already twice this year on audio, fast speed. Because if you put the time in, the returns come. And so I would encourage guys, Winnie's is a really, really great book. Sam Chand, uh, who writes uh, on leadership, he does stuff on holding your ladder. Anything by Sam Chand is great. But, uh, I mean, Maxwell is a, a no-brainer. You know, it's a phenomenal read and a great book. And for me, one of the greatest books of all time, which I read three times a year, is... Uh, by George Clason, mm -hmm. The Richest Man in Babylon. Wow. Five, seven Cures for a Lean Purse, chapter number five, I believe. It is a phenomenal book. Taught me how to save money. We put money away every month. 18% of all of our income. We put away. We put away in our businesses, in our ministry, and in our lives. I strongly recommend The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clason. What are you reading at the moment, and uh, what books have had an impact on you? I will say, I, I will make a confession. I'm not a good reader. I don't find time enough to read. Mm. But when I came to join Zimra, I was aware of um, the challenges of taking this organization. And my son bought me a book, which apparently I also got as a gift, a welcome gift from one of the organizations. And this book is uh, The First 90 Days. All right. I, I've used it as a Bible mm. because I read it, I have it on audio because I would re listen to it even when I'm driving. It gave me such insights to strategize, mm. to realize the challenges that I have. Mm. So I'm using it from mm. when I got it in 2018. The other book that I uh, am reading and I'm using as a handbook, mm. and this is how I read. When I face a challenge and I'm saying, okay, what can I read? I have uh, two books that I got from my nephew, who is a pastor in Botswana. Um, he, he gave me books after sharing a very difficult experience, and one of them is Leadership Pains by Samuel Chand. Mm. And it, it just makes it clear to you to say, if you can't um, overcome the challenges of a certain level of leadership, mm. then that's the limit. Mm. Realize that the higher you go um, is determined by the challenges that you face. It, it articulates the, 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 the pains of being a leader. Um, and then there's another book uh, called uh, Faith in the Marketplace by Bill Winston. Um, I think it, it, it speaks to me from a perception that there are certain people who may feel that there are jobs where faith doesn't work. Mm but our faith works in every situation, including the marketplace, mm -hmm. in business, in leadership. And um, I, I've used those three books as my handbooks, but these are a book that I'm still, it's so thick. I got it from my son uh, and I've dreaded to look at it, but I'm, I'm really excited to start on it. And uh, it's, it's uh, Straight from the Gut mm -hmm. um, by uh, Jack Welch. I, I'm really looking forward because this is somebody who has been there and in big companies and, and the like. So that's my reading. I'm not a reader, mm. but I found so much um, uh, insight into reading some of these experiences, but more from faith by uh, books. Mm. Like I said, my devotionals, I've got devotionals that I use mm. on a daily basis, and they actually come through and give me, I spend wake up at 5.30, use the first 30 minutes for my, uh, for my devotion. Uh, six o'clock after listening to the news, I go for a bit of exercise on the bike and I read, get ready for work. Do, do you have time after you've finished uh, binging on sci-fi <laughs> to read books? <laughs> yes, I do. What, what books have you read of late that you would recommend to our view, viewers yes. who love reading? Uh, it's a book that I, I, I didn't read quickly, and I know many people have read it. 
uh, prior to this when it came out is an old book and the person responsible for this book is now late uh, and I'm talking about Tubabu Madiba Mandela mm -hmm. the long walk to freedom to freedom mm. uh, it's a book I've been reading over and over and over again um, for the simple reason that once again it brings humanity into the question mm. to say you've been incarcerated for 27 years how is it that you come out and you're not foaming with anger you're not lashing out you're not doing all those things how is it that you want to build a rainbow nation when you come out of that incarceration it gave me an insight it gave me an insight to say you know what we need to accept that we are different there are no two people the same even twins are come out different we need to take a step back and chill out a bit the political arena in Zimbabwe has become so toxic. People are so angry. Yes, I can, I can understand the anger, because life is hard. You're buying a bag of milli milli 50 kg for six, seven hundred bond, when your salary is only 200 bond. Mm. So I know people are angry, but in the midst of that anger, still I would insist, take a step back. Take a step back, chill out. Go back to the family. Go back to the, the important things in life mm. of saying how we can do this thing together. Mm. I've just come here to you today, Trevor. Last night I didn't sleep because I was looking after 2,000 little chickens. Mm. The electricity ran out on me. Mm. I had to look for candles and look for this and look for that so that the little things don't dry away. Those are the important things in life to keep us up and going. Mm.